Hi, this is Halal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will try to solve a problem on price elasticity of demand and it is a typical question. The question is like this. Assuming that quantity demanded for a particular commodity is given by the formula that is dp is equal to 8000 p to the power negative uh, 1.5. The percent change in quantity demanded when price increases by 1% from price is equal to 4 is approximately the options are negative 2 negative 1.48 negative 3.1 or negative 5.0 okay so what the question tells us we have to see what will happen to the quantity demanded when the original price changes by 1% if original price was p is equal to 4 when it changes by 1% what would happen to the percentage change in quantity demanded okay first we will write the what is the typical uh, price elasticity of demand price elasticity of demand is given by that is let us write e subscript b as price elasticity of demand is given by that is given by dq upon dp and it is negative uh, times p by q this is our uh, price elasticity of demand formula so what is our demand function our demand function is uh, given here so i will write here our demand function is uh, d p is equal to 8000 p to the power minus 1.5 okay so first we find this very uh, coefficient that is dq upon dp and it uh, can be written as q is equal to dp which is equal to that is q is the function of price now finding dq upon dp is simply that is dq upon dp means to differentiate this very function with respect to price okay so how do we uh, do it the uh, this exponent becomes coefficient so we have minus 1.5 into 8000 by power function rule p to the power this exponent is subtracted by 1 that is minus 1.5 minus 1 okay or we can write it like this minus 1.5 into 8000 comes out to be minus 12 12000 okay so this is 0 here uh, p to the power now minus 1.5 minus 1 is equal to minus 2.5 okay this is our uh, dq upon dp which we also called the slope okay now uh, what we have to do we have calculated this we want to use this very formula okay so what we will write we will write elasticity of price is equal to uh, dq upon dp uh, into p by q okay now giving the values to the uh, to these uh, variables so we have dq upon dp we calculated it come out to be uh, 12000 uh, p to the power minus 2.5 okay into what is our ordinal price that is 4 so i will write here uh, 4 let me write it like this 4 divided by uh, in place of q we have this very function so i will write 8000 8000 p to the power minus 1.5 okay i i hope i am making myself clear because in place of q we have the ordinal demand function now uh, let's try to solve this so here uh, what we can write uh, let me write it here so we have uh, 12,000 over 8,000 so these three zeros will get cancelled so we are left with minus 12 divided by 8 so let me write it here now this p to the power um, uh, 2.5 negative 2.5 can be written like this minus 1.5 into p to the power minus 1 okay because here say bases are same if we want to add the exponents it will come out to be minus 2.5 and we have 
फोर हियर ओके फोर डिवाइड बाय पी टू द पावर माइनस वन पॉइंट फाइव ओके दिस टर्म एंड दिस टर्म विल गेट कैंसल्ड ओके सो व्हाट वी आर लेफ्ट वी आर लेफ्ट विद माइनस लेट मी कैंसल दिस फोर वन जार फोर टू जार सो टू डिवाइड बाय ट्वेल्व सो वी हैव माइनस ट्वेल्व डिवाइड बाय टू एंड पी टू द पावर माइनस वन एंड इट कैन बी रिटर्न लाइक दिस वी हैव हियर सिक्स टू वन जार टू सिक्स जार ट्वेल्व सो वी आर लेफ्ट विद माइनस सिक्स इनटू पी टू द पावर माइनस वन और इट कैन बी रिटर्न लाइक दिस माइनस सिक्स डिवाइड बाय P because when this p to the power minus one is taken to the denominator, the sign gets changed. It is minus one. Here it becomes plus one. Okay, so we have minus six. Our p. What is our p? P is four. Okay, so this is four. Now minus six by four comes out to be minus one point five. So our ordinal price elasticity of demand is minus one point five. Now what does this tell us? Uh, price elasticity of demand equal to minus 1.5. It simply says, let me write it. If if price increases by 1%, okay, quantity demanded will decrease by 1.5%. Oh, now this is the uh, meaning of this price elasticity of demand. Okay, first we calculate the price elasticity of demand. Now, coming to the question. So, we are being told that uh, when price increases by one percent from four, okay. So let me write it like this: uh, if if or uh, let me first calculate the quantity demanded when price is equal to four. Let me write quantity. Uh, quantity demanded when uh, p is equal to four. First, we need to calculate this. Uh, this also. Now, quantity demanded when p is equal to four. Just insert p is equal to four in our ordinal demand function. So we have q is equal to eight thousand in place of four. We have uh, sorry in place of p we have four. So I will write four. To the power minus 1.5. Okay, and it can be written like this: 8,000 divided by 4 to the power 1.5. Simply just transposing this uh, this term on uh, what we call it uh, denominator, and the exponent sign gets changed. Okay, so 4. Uh, to the power 1.5. So let me write it like this. We have 8,000 here. Okay. This 4 can be written as 2 square. Okay. In place of 1.5, it can be written as 3 by 2 because 3 by 2 is equal to 1.5. This 2 and this 2 will get cancelled. We are left with 8,000. Our 2 to the power 4 to the power 8. Okay. This uh, we can just cancel the numbers here. So we get. Thousand. Okay. So quantity demanded. Okay. Quantity demanded when p is equal to four is equal to thousand. Okay. When p is equal to four is this. Okay. Now, what the question tells us? The question tells us when price increases by one percent. Let me write here. When price Increases by one percent. Okay, what was our ordinal price for? When it increases by one percent, what is the one percent of four? So our new price would be. Let me write it like this, uh, which implies new price would be equal to our ordinal price that is, p is equal to four, plus the increase of one percent that is one percent of four. Okay, one percent of four. So what it comes out to be, this is four plus one percent of four is simply one uh, divided by ten. Sorry, one divided by hundred into four, which comes out to be four uh, divided by hundred, which comes out to be four point 
it will come out to be 4.04 okay because 400 is uh, it here so let me write like this our new price is equal to 4.04 okay now we have to see what is the quantity demanded at this new price okay first we find the quantity demanded at old price which comes out to be thousand now we have to find quantity demanded when new price is 4.04 okay so it's simply just put uh, p is equal to 4.04 in our ordinal demand function to get new quantity so quantity new okay i have used this super uh, script for new quantity which would be equal to 8000 8000 in place of p we have 4. Point not 4 so 4.04 uh, raised to the power minus 1.5 okay so this comes out to be 8000 divided by simply transposing this to denominator this is 4.04 uh, raised power plus 1.5 okay when we uh, uh, solve uh, this very thing here uh, it will come out to be uh, something uh, like i have calculated calculated it that is a 985 okay so new quantity demanded is 985 old quantity demanded when p was 4 is 1000 okay now what is the change in quantity demanded so i will write here a uh, change in quantity demanded Our change in quantity is simply equal to uh, our let us write like this our new demand function minus our old demand function when p was 4 okay so we have calculated new demand which comes out to be 985 985 and our old demand was 1000 okay so this comes out to be uh, it comes out to be uh, 14 uh, minus a uh, 14 point uh, something seven seven okay so change in quantity is this very thing now what is percent change in quantity demanded we have to calculate percent change in quantity demand so percent change in quantity demanded quantity demanded would be equal to it is simply our new demand uh, that is change in quantity demanded that is equal to minus uh, 14.77 divided by ordinal quantity demanded that is thousand okay into hundred okay now these uh, two zeros get cancelled now 14.77 when divided with 10 it will come out to be uh, equal to something like 1.477 negative 1.477 which approximately is equal to minus 1.48 okay so uh, quantity demanded or percentage change in the quantity demanded when price increases by one percent from original price is approximately equal to a negative 1.48 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video so uh, let us uh, revise what we have done first we were being given a demand function okay we were told to find the percent change in the quantity demanded when the original uh, price changes by one percent or increases here or rather it is increased by one percent so for that what we need first we need this very formula which is the price elasticity of demand formula so our demand function was, was given first thing was to find this very dq upon dp this very derivative we calculated this uh, using differentiation and using the power function rule we got uh, this dq upon dp is equal to uh, minus uh, 12000 p to the power minus 2.4 okay 
Now after that elasticity of demand is simply at this dq upon dp into p by q which comes out to be we have calculated it our elasticity of demand was negative 1.5 this negative 1.5 of price elasticity of demand it's simply that if price increases by 1% quantity demanded will decrease by 1.5% uh, or if price decreases we can also write it like this if price decreases by 1% quantity uh, demanded will increase by 1.5 percent okay there is the uh, negative uh, negative relationship between price and quantity and it is being uh, sub uh, substantiated by this very negative sign here okay now quantity demanded when price is equal to 4 we have to see what is the quantity demanded when the ordinal price was 4 and which comes out to be 1000 okay then the question tells us uh, if our original price increases by one percent okay what will be the new price so if our original price was four original original price was four and it has increased by one percent okay our new price would be equal to simply the original price uh, times one percent of the original price and which comes out to be four point not four okay so our new price is four point not four now quantity demanded at this new price is equal to 985 now what is change in quantity change in quantity will be simply the new quantity minus old quantity okay which comes out to be minus 14.77 uh, now what is the percent change in quantity demanded which the question asks us it is simply uh, the old quantity sorry the new quantity upon old quantity times 100 gives us percent okay which comes out to be minus 1.48 i hope i make myself clear in this video if you like these videos please subscribe this channel and share uh, with your economics friends so that i get motivated to make more useful stuff for you people thank you